The University of Texas at El Paso is America's leading Hispanic serving university. We have about 24,000 students. We're an R1 research university, so we're, we're in the top 5% of universities in the country when it comes to research. But we're more than that. We're actually the only top-tier research university that has kept its open access mission. So half of our students are the first in their families to go to college. 96% of our students are minorities. 84% are Hispanic. So it is really an unusual university in a binational, bicultural community on the U.S.-Mexico border in far west Texas where three states and two countries come together. As we've moved to R1 status, we obviously have some, a number of research thrusts within the college. And probably the one we're most well known for from a uh, international, national standpoint is advanced manufacturing. And that's really a thread that goes all the way through our college. At UTEP, we have several advanced manufacturing uh, programs. Uh, one of them is the one that we develop here at the Interdisciplinary Research Building. Here we are doing um, energy storage. So we use advanced manufacturing to improve uh, our energy storage devices. We go from synthesis to advanced characterization. We go to miniaturization of devices, of, of, of techniques. We do have uh, several printers uh, that we recently acquired and that we are trying the students to engage uh, on. So thanks to 3D printing, the idea that we have is that we can hide these this energy storage devices, you know, that would be shape conformable. And so the idea here would be really to hide the complete battery into the wall frame of the object. We are about to acquire a metal printer with a blue laser, which will be the first of its kind in the United States, and can simultaneously print both copper and nickel super alloys together within a single complex geometry. And this piece of equipment will play a central role in our partnership with Sandia National Labs, and it will serve the aerospace and defense industries. Regionally, we actually have a large group working on water, and this is water reuse, water uh, desalination, um, since we have brackish groundwater, and we work really closely with El Paso Water, one of the most progressive uh, municipal water companies in the United States. Well, El Paso Water has been collaborating with UTEP for many years. Because we have to deal with water scarcity, El Paso Water has invested in developing technologies that sometimes they have never been used in the country. So here in El Paso, we have the biggest inland desalination plant, and we are about to have the first direct potable reuse facility in the country. And we get to be part of it. So El Paso Water has been working with professors at UTEP in several projects, and we are able to evaluate our technologies that we have in our lab. So we start with something small in bench scale, but El Paso Water helps us to develop pilot plants, so we are able to test our technologies using real water in the utility. So in terms of cybersecurity, we have a large program in our computer science department that includes both cyber defense, but also cyber operations. We work closely with uh, the DOD as well as the DOE on that. So as you know, uh, cybersecurity is huge, but also now there is the advances of artificial intelligence. So uh, there is this idea of using artificial intelligence to ensure cybersecurity of systems. So our students are working on investigating the issues, the ethical issues, the privacy issues of using AI or generative AI to secure software systems. So they're also investigating the use of quantum computing for the security of space command systems. They're also using, doing research on investigating the provenance of data that's collected from satellites to make sure that there is a high confidence and validity of these data. And all of that work is related to cybersecurity and securing the nation. particularly when you're talking about 50% of our students being first gen, they often have very little idea of what sorts of opportunities are out there. So the UTEP Edge was really developed to provide that framework 
in one place so they can find out about all of these opportunities, but also how they can find out about how the opportunities will impact them moving forward, how we'll develop them personally, professionally, and yield those soft skills that are necessary and so sought after in the uh, job market. My UTEP EDGE experience includes being an ESLC chair for two years in a row. I participated in a co-op, an internship, and the fast track. I hadn't thought about going to graduate school before fast track. Being able to, to open my mind to that possibility and seeing how the classes were for graduate school made me want to continue to get an internship and co-ops. These experiences have helped me grow on an academic level and a personal level in ways that I would have never thought. I have more confidence in myself, both to be able to be prepared to go into the workforce and pursue further education. You know, some top tier research universities are, are kind of sharp elbowed places that once you get in, it's like you, you should feel good about the fact that we allowed you to join us. Um, it's kind of a sink or swim place. UTEP is not that way. We're a come with us, we're going to teach you to swim and we're going to have a blast kind of space. We want to be a welcoming, caring community and that really reflects the community in which we live, which is very warm and family oriented. We are a friendly, welcoming community and we meet every student where they are and help them to become a better version of themselves. And that is the beauty of UTEP.